What's first on the docket today? <laughs> oh, shit. You've got to be kidding me. No way. Of all the levels they decided to omit from this game, they leave this one in? Oh, my God. This is more like a mayhem level than a taxing. I do not foresee myself. Well, what a day to start. What a way to start a day. I'm around the wheel, everybody. And you're watching Lemmings for the Sega Genesis. And you're watching one of the most infamous levels for the for Lemmings. Wow, this is kind of a this is kind of a wide variation on it though. Let's get first off, let's get going what we know is right, and just dig through this top hole here. Okay, get get your little dig on. Okay, oh, is he gonna Okay, good. He did not end up walking out through the Okay. That was a worry of mine. I don't remember the release rate on this one being so fast. Okay, let's see where to go from here though. Okay. Let's get this moving first. Okay, that might be a little too soon for that, but we need to get we need to get things cracking here. We need to get things crack a lacking. Okay, so I want to start building from the very farthest point out that I can. That's good for that one. I don't know if it's good for this one. Because the ten builders are what really do you in. You end up needing... Well, I don't know. It might end up being kind of generous in this case. Who knows? I don't think I edged up on this one as much as I wanted to, though. you got to really build from way back to get this one right. Yeah, see, he already messed it up. you got to really, like, as soon as he touches the top there, you got to do it right. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to let myself have one more, though. Okay, wow. Okay, 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 good. All right, we're all walking around. We're doing our funky little business thing. Okay, once he gets back, I hope I built high up enough here. This is going to be really just awful, I think. I think he's going to end up hitting this hole right here. Unless he's one pixel above it. Okay, yes, he's one pixel above it. Good. That's what I had, that's what I had some fear about here. Now let's see, though. Uh... I think we need to get I think we need to get some business going here. Yeah, we need to make a hole here. There we go. That makes that makes everything a little better. Now it's not a guaranteed win for our guys up top, but we don't need it to be really precise. Okay. Alright, that also makes it a little easier to build our way into the exit. Yeah, we're only gonna have two builders to accomplish this, but this might not be as hard as I was anticipating, actually. So I'm actually a little excited about this. Okay. Okay, who's coming? Who's coming? I need the guy coming from the left. I thought I had two climbers, didn't I? Where's climber? Okay, yeah, there he is. I, he was having himself a grand old time. Okay, so let's start building up to the exit then. Probably from about, like, right here. Oh, that was stupid. That was really stupid. But... But I mostly get the I mostly get what we need to be doing. This guy, if he can build, if he can build and me not have to use another one right here, we have a little bit of insurance. But it all depends on what these guys do. And we don't have as many Well, this is the really messy one over here. We don't have as many guys over here as I thought we would, so it might actually be easy to build out of this one. Uh we might get through this one in less time than I thought then. Okay. Okay, we've got a nice shiny hole going here. I hope none of... Okay, neither of these are a climber. That's good. That would have gotten... Well, it wouldn't have gotten messy at all because the guy would have just climbed into the thing. And then uh, the only real bugaboo here will be is if these guys meet up. And it's pretty obvious now that they won't. So now I just have to get him going. I just have to build him up a nice little... Okay. Start here. Okay, yeah. And then hopefully he won't hit his head too badly. I need to get them up into the exit. I think that's just the kind of way that they'll... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, that's just the kind of bridge that he'll build into it and not hit his head. That's kind of what I was counting on here. So now I have to just get building in the right direction going this way. And, of course, that didn't happen. Okay, they're going out first. I wanted to get this one right coming out of the gate because they're a lot harder to get right than this one over here. These guys, if I screw this one up, I'm going to have, like, a heart attack. Okay, good. Yeah, that one, that one is substantially harder to screw up. Way fewer guys in over there. And they, wow, they touched up right on that one. So it's going to be, that one was not quite as bad as I was anticipating, actually. There was a little bit of, there was a little bit of exactitude involved. But overall, this is actually not as bad a level because 
the pixels are a bit easier to kind of narrow down, I guess, is the accurate word I'm looking for here. It, you can, it, really the only real trouble is over here when everybody crams over into this one hole. This is one of those levels that luck really plays a factor. I've never really found an easier way to do this level. I guess I maybe could make it a little easier with mining and digging and such, like digging through these bridges to make it a little less lucky, but I've never had that kind of, I've never had that kind of bizarro luck. But maybe we'll get to play the Bomb Squad level now. The Bomb Squad level is a fun one. No, we don't get to play. Here comes the bomb squad. Dang it. Watch your fingertip. I watch my fingertip all the time. I'm kind of suspicious of it. It could get up to doings at any moment. 50 and 98. What's going on here? What? What's going on with watching fingertips? Whoa. Yeah, watch your fingertip indeed. Okay, so... Oh, I like the little sagging effect of the bridge there. That is cool. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, 98% they said. So what is the, what's the big idea here? So, I can probably, uh, make my way down. Let's see, let's, let's, let's make our way downtown to Chinatown. And let's, first of all, let's jack the, well, I was gonna say, let's jack the release rate way up. Well, we do need a blocker. We do need a blocker, at least. So... How much time do we have? Four minutes? Yeah, we got plenty of time here. I may have hesitated a little. Yeah, I hesitated too hard on that guy. Dang it! Let's get that blocker out first, right off the bat now, like I wanted to. Okay, yes, much better. Okay, now we need to get a bunch of guys out here. And we are going to accomplish that with a basher. Let's get a lot of guys going here. It doesn't matter if a few of them turn around. Frankly, I'm okay with that. What I want going on now is to get this guy going. Yeah, he can bash through there. Hopefully nobody will walk up over the hump. No, they don't. I like this as a little enclosure area. That's what I'm going for. Okay, and not as many turned around as I anticipated would either. That's good. That makes things relatively clean for when we uh, escape this way. This guy, he needs to go ahead and be a straggler going toward the hill. This one, you do all the work. We're going to have him mine down and then just uh, build and bash through. It should only take one, two. In fact, I should have a few chances to get out of here. I should have a few chances to make a clean getaway right here. Oh, that's a weird little bit of movement right there. That's funky. Good thing he's got a little sign holding him back. And I actually may not have started mining from far enough back. That is not something I anticipated happening. But let's just go with it for now because that's more or less the way out here. Okay, yeah, let's get let him get a little lower. And then this might actually... Okay, this is going to end up working out, I think. He's not going to hit his head on the slime deal because that's been chopped off a little. And even if he does, he's got a blocker to help him out. So uh, even if he had hit his head, what would have been the harm? Okay, maybe I will only have... Okay, yeah, looks like I'm only going to have one chance to get out of here then. That's going to make it considerably tougher. But I can probably, well, I could maybe follow this weird little animated line going here. You can see there's kind of a bit of weird animation going right to left, right to left in here. And maybe I can use that to my advantage in getting out of here in a way that's not so much lucky. Well, actually, there are quite a few ways out of here. If building doesn't work, I can always bash my way out. I have, I have one chance with a builder and one chance with a basher. Okay, good. I wanted to get right up on that. That was what I wanted right there. So the only way to really screw this up... Okay, now he's safe. He's making his way out. Now the only real way to screw this up... Okay, I'm going to get this guy... Can you see this stream going to the left? I'm catching it. Oh, come on! That's freaking ridiculous. But I did get out this way, so they have a chance to get out that way. That's nice! You have kind of multiple ways of getting out. That's really cool. And nothing going on that way. This is just a big, expansive, empty space. And I like it. I like it a lot. Wow, that was a nice level that kind of gave me some leeway. Thank goodness. That's nice to have after Triple Trouble, which is pixel perfect. But I'm not going to lie. I did use some safe states to keep that one from taking forever. Because you know what to do. You just got to do it. And going back and starting all over again once I've had the luxury of replay. Yeah, I'm not going to... I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna put up with that very well. Let's just get these guys to the exit then. 
They are doing really well. That was a really nicely constructed level. It wasn't too hard to figure out, though. It wasn't really too hard. I would consider it probably more of a tricky level, but I liked it all the same. It was a lot of fun and a really good one. So, yes, up and up and over the hill and bound and bound and bouncy bouncy. Let's go ahead and uh, nuke our last guy, the one sitting way over here. This was a 98%er, right? Seem to recall it was 98% we had to save, not 100. If we have 100, then we have problems, and I got fooled by the... Okay, no, good. I didn't get fooled by a blocker being present. That would have been just absolutely humiliating, but it was a fun one. That one overall was really good, and I was able to... The fact that I had to rely on chance a little to get out of that pit trap was uh, mitigated by the fact that I had multiple chances to get out. Always very nice design. Now we have to watch right or left. Didn't we have to watch left or right, left and right next time, last time, something? 30 lemmings, 93% to be saved. That probably means I can kill, like, roughly two lemmings. Whoa! This must be the bomb squad level. There. Well, no, it's not the bomb squad level because, okay, I can kill a couple of them. All right, this should not be too hard at all. In fact, I should only have to kill probably one lemming. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, all right, yeah. We're going to have to mine on both sides here. One guy, go up. We're going to mine, we're going to cut right through here, and he's going to stop. Wow, I cannot believe he's not stopping. That's pretty crazy. He had a lot of ground there to cover. And he ended up not stopping. That's pretty insane, actually. Well, let's go ahead and use a builder, because I think we have enough of them that we can stop. Okay, and they're gonna get to the they're gonna get to the bridge before they Let's give them plenty of walking room though. Okay, yes, and he's right about there, right where we wanted him to be. Okay, so now that means yeah, I still want to shut him out on this last step. That's what I was intending to do earlier. I didn't want to waste a builder or anything. Oh! Oh, I can save 100%. I didn't even see the pillars over here. <laughs> okay, well, assuming he doesn't hit his head. Uh, if he hits his head, we'll have to make him a blocker. And I think he's going to hit his head, so... So, uh... Oh, so he can't be a blocker. I did not see that we don't have blockers here. Okay, so this is still... This is still mostly salvageable, though. I should be able to get out of this one just fine, as long as I don't screw too terribly up. I should have started from, like, here or so. I still think I can get out of this one in 100% fashion. Oh, yeah, especially if I make good stretchies like that. That's really good. No, though, that's not what I want at all. But I think I can go ahead and start sending guys up now. I think we can kind of just let this little construction mess go its own way. I kind of kind of messed this up, but I have a little bit of leeway. Oh, shoot. That was that was a waste. Okay, if I get a guy right here though, I only have to put down one tile right here. That should patch it up just enough. Yes, okay. And now we can uh we can build out to freedom assuming we go the right way here. Let's yeah, I had to get right on that pause button doing it right, but you can actually do that and save everybody, so that's pretty nifty. That one that one was not so taxing. I didn't really break a sweat during that one, I'm not going to lie. Let's get a stretchy on, so let's get a stretch bridge going so we don't have to... Okay, everybody's going to make it to the exit in their own due time then. We had way more than enough time to complete that level. Yeah, I bet you can go either side you want. I guess it all boils down to preference, but that one barely made me break a sweat. Although there was plenty of potential for screw-up. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Not to me. Not today. No, sir. And here comes El Numero Lasto, making his way to the X. We saved 100%. I could have afforded to kill two lemmings there. I thought it would only be, like, one. I'm not so good with the percentages sometimes. Math is definitely not my strong suit. But we did it. We saved 100% of the lemmings when we only had to save 93. And that's what I call a big win. Level 29. How do I dig out a path? This is probably, well... Level name aside, slight level name difference aside, this is probably the same level as how do I dig up the way from... This is the next to last level of the original taxing, so it should be like a ladder would be handy. Yeah, it's the same one. So this one is, we only have five builders, and there's no... There's not much getting, but that's really narrow. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, that's really narrow how they do that one. And it's a little bit funky. Can I, I can't very well get up there with five builders, though, can I? I may need to do this kind of weirdly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send my guy. I'm going to go ahead and send my floater man. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot this one has a much faster release rate, too. So, But fortunately, we can set a standard blocker trap, and it's no big deal. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to turn my guy around. I need to turn my guy around. I need to get over the bridge, first of all. Normally, what you would do here is you would, you would, uh, you would dig, and then you would mine down. But it doesn't look like I really have enough space to do that. So I'm going to do this up a little differently than I normally would. Okay, it's going to take one bridge to get over this. And then I'm going to build three bridges. This might actually be a little harder than it usually is, weirdly enough. So I'm going to... He needs to become a climber first. I don't think I can mine out of that. I think it might be easier, actually, to just go up the way and do it the way I was going to do it. Then that gives me enough time to see how I'm going to... Then that gives me time to see how to do this. I might have to end up sending a second guy. Uh, I would I would hate to have to do that, but that may be the way it goes. I'm going to get as close to the exit as I can, though. Because usually you have a lot more room to do this. It's a little weird in this way. Okay, yeah, go ahead and do that, and then uh, use your magic slowdown powers, and uh, we're going to go down. We're going to go down here. That's not nearly going to... Usually you can dig down, you can mine down far enough that when you release all these other guys, they just walk up the path that's made. But here, because of the squunch down land, it's going to be a little different and a little trickier. What I want to do... I only have three bridges left. Can I manage this? I don't know if I can manage this, actually. Huh. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh... Let's... I might have to do... I could do, like, a weird stair thing with bashers and diggers. But I don't really want to do that. I don't want to do anything so sloppy as all that. Uh, let's go ahead and now have him bash out. Okay. That's going to that's gonna look a little funky, and I don't know if I can get up there with with two guys. Uh, so that's three dead. Oh, my. Yeah, this is going to be a little tougher than I originally banked on. Because usually you only get, like, two builders, I think, to do this. But because of the altered nature of it... Huh. Let's go ahead... Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's make him a blocker at the bottom path. Let's go ahead and send the other guys out. I didn't really give them much room there, though, to do that. I still need to dig and then do this. I forgot to do that so, because I was thinking I could do it the regular way. But still, you need to do this. I can't believe I missed that step. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set a blocker right here. Yeah, ideally what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a blocker there, and then they'll be able to uh, build one, two, three up from there. So uh, hopefully, I I hope that works out at least. Uh, if not, I don't really see another way out of this. Uh, well, hold on now. Let's 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 not let's not say we let's not say never say never just yet. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. This is fully possible. As long as I didn't just get a guy going to the left here. Now, if I did that, then yeah, we're totally screwed. But, uh, I think I can still kind of pull this one out. This one is, this one is still easily salvageable. And I want to be sure to build right when I get down here. I don't want to build from the top bridge, because everybody will go down where the blocker is, and they won't be able to make their own way out. Did I get a guy going to the left or to the right? I guess we'll find out. Okay, good. It would be my luck to have him go this way. But there is still a way out here. I wasted a lot of time, I think. But this is still really imminently doable, I think. Aha, that is going to be a tough... That's going to be a tough bridge to hit, though. Did I... Uh, I I'm going to give myself some insurance here. I think I went just a little high there. Okay. Yes, that's usually where I take the drop from. Alright, good. Okay, we have three bridges left to get this done. 
Okay, we have to make this work. And I'm doing this because I'm I'm fully aware that I'm extremely paranoid about not getting this down. I don't think three bridges is going to do this. I'm not sure what the idea is here, but... Well, they're all crammed really closely to each other. That's nice, at least. Well, that's... I don't know. They might reach that. That's That looks like roughly a third of the way. I'm just going to let him go. I'm just going to have faith that he can do it. Otherwise, this might get down to some pixel perfection, like, uh... Okay, and... <laughs> well, even so, he's not going to be able to walk up over that. Uh, so I'm going to have to do something... Oh, and they can't even get up on the bridge anyway, because I fucked it up like that. Well, yeah, this one is pretty much unsalvageable now, because I have no way of getting them out of there. Well, it does reach the wall. It does do that, at least. If I had not messed up so egregiously earlier, I think I may have to make like a dig down, like a stair step type of conveyance. Let me see if that would somehow work. I still have some time to experiment with here. I still have a few seconds to mess around here. So uh, let me see if I could, well, not really much point if I could see if I could do something like that, but... Yeah, I could make, like, some kind of, like, stair-step deal going to the top. I think that would give me a little bit more... It would be weird, but I can pull it off. This is going to be a strange one to work with, though. I'm going to have to alter my usual strategy. Yes, okay, yes, it's still doable. I think I can still do this. I think I've got this figured out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to mine, yes. But we're going to make a zigzag path this time. That should make things considerably easier for our little man. And we don't have to use, like, we can use almost none of our builders in the process. But what I want to do now, I want to dig, get about halfway down, and then go dig some more. And then I'll make a little zigzag path. How many builders will that use? Uh, one to stop him. Okay, I have four left. That's one to stop him. And then he gets down here. One to seal this up. And then one to make this hole work. Okay, I should be able to do this with uh, one whole builder left over. So that's pretty nifty. Okay, well, no, no, I don't need him blocking. That's not the cure for the blues. Let's go ahead then and, uh, hmm, I might need to... Yeah, I'm going as far out as I can here. I'm going as far out as I can while still making this work. Okay, now go ahead and uh, mine from about here, I would say. And, uh, hopefully, wow, this is really, this really makes me worry about time, though. That is the only real worry here. But if I can get him going, and I can get the rest of the guys going by the minute mark, then I can have him maybe build right here. I'll have him block up here and then build to the exit. Okay, yeah, so there's my last one, build to the exit. So, yeah, five builders is what it takes. Okay, man, hurry up. Man, miners are slow... Miners are slow, slow. They are, they're not just slow. They're slow, slow. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So let's get patching out of here. Plonk. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're doing plenty fine. You're doing plenty fine. They should be able to walk up that. So now I'm going to have you build. And uh, he's probably going to... I bet he seals up the whole thing. No? Okay, well, that works even better. That gives him even more time to do what I was hoping for him to do. So now uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and get this going, because we need to get these guys moving toward us as quickly as we can. Okay, so now, now where to build from? That's the thing. Okay, yeah, that should seal up the hole pretty nicely. I didn't want them to, I didn't want him to, like, hit his head and then leave a little hole there. That would be bad, yes. He sealed it up exactly. I didn't want everybody eventually turning around, going through a tiny hole in this bridge, and then plummeting into the water. That would have been the suckiness. Let's go ahead now, though, and have him block. He's going to block at the top of the hill. What a clever way to make a previously... That that like that was like version 3 of that level, even. That made a hard version of a level even harder. And we have one builder, so let's not screw it up. They're all over here with a minute and some change, so I'm okay with that. Let's wait for the whole heap to go to the right before we do anything, though. Okay, that's all of you, and boom. 
There we go. Nailed it. All right. I think that's going to do it for us today. Unless the next level is We All Fall Down. Well, yeah, I might even save that for next time, too. Because with We All Fall Down, we're starting to get into a high number of lemmings where it's not so fun to do the, the big the 25 release rate trick anymore where I use half my diggers to save a to save the whole bunch. So that one we're probably just going to start doing straight up the way the maker intended. So that is it for us. Got our 97% uh, in. That's a little above the 95 that was required. So next time we're going to be finishing up the taxing levels. That's great. That's perfect. That's grand. And we're going to be moving on to mayhem. I wonder what kind of mayhem they have in store for us always be insured against mayhem though you don't want dennis duffy the beeper king coming around and causing a whole bunch of havoc especially in ono more lemmings the havoc is inevitable anyway what am i even talking about what the hell am i even talking about i'll see you guys next time